think like since the 1960s, how many times has the debt ceiling been increased? Most people would have no idea. They don't. Yeah. Like they think six or seven. Yeah. Right. It's you know. uh, the number is 78 times. 78 times. And you heard about it probably three times. Yeah. Right. Right. So what's changed? In the last two decades, our politicians have figured out that they can basically hijack the debt ceiling for their own issues. And they're they're essentially playing chicken with our borrowing limit and saying, hey, I'm not going to approve that unless you get this little side bill in here for some town in Iowa (laughs) or, you know, my issue, my party's issue. And it's becoming more of a partisan, you know game of chicken, essentially. But what they're doing is playing chicken with your social security payments, your bond interest and repayments, government workers, military salaries. Interest rates overall in the economy. Yes. This game of chicken is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, the interesting thing is we're one of only two countries in the entire world that even has a debt ceiling. It's totally voluntary. We don't have to have this. The Congress Mm -hmm. could today vote to eliminate the debt ceiling and we'd never have this conversation yeah. again. But they won't. Why? Because <laughs> they want to have something to fight about. They can right? use this they issue. They can use it but, as a hammer. 